Hi there. This time we talk about round formula and its applications in finance, accounting, MIS reporting and strategic decision making. Now, majority of you may have worked with round formula at the basic level. So I'll just take a few moments to quickly brush up the basics. But then I need to delve deep inside the tricky part of round formula and how a certain trick will help solve problem which otherwise M round or any such rounding formula will not be able to do so. So now, looking at the formula round, it has two parameters, number and num digits. Well, if you are given a number, which I have uh, made bold and underlined right now, and you are told that I want to round this number to the nearest whole number. Now, quite often you go to home tab, you apply this comma style and reduce the decimal. It changes the display to 55, but mind you, if I multiply 1000 to this 55, it doesn't give you 55,000. It gives you that original number multiplied with 1000. So this particular trick is just for display value change, not for actual number conversion. So for that, we take the help of ROU equal to ROU. As I write equal to ROU, I'll press the tab key. Mm -hmm. Once I do so, let me choose the original number. In this case, the cell which is blinking right now, comma. The next parameter, although it says num digits, but the actual meaning is number of decimal digits. How many number of decimal digits would you want to display in the final answer? If I say zero, it means no number of decimal digits and hence the number has been rounded off to the nearest whole number. Had I told it one, then yes, I would have received 54.60. So if you want actual decimal in your answer, just need to give one or two or three, depending on the number of decimal places you wish to have in your final answer. This was the basics of round formula. Now, the basics of round down and round up formula, here it goes. If you have been parking your car in a certain uh, mall and that's for maybe 2.2 hours, you are charged for three hours flat. It doesn't matter whether it was two hours, one minute or two minutes or five minutes. Unless your negotiation skills are really good, they will charge you for three hours. So the meaning here is round up. Now, how do I achieve that? Let me delete this cell where the solution is also provided. I will say equal to ROU and then choosing round up from the down arrow key, pressing the tab key. Now the strategy is almost the same as round formula. I got to choose a number and then I will say zero, which indicates what? Whole number, no decimals. And what we get is rounded up. Similarly, on occasions when we talk about piece wage rate system, uh, where a particular worker is paid based on the complete units of product that he has prepared or made. Now in this case, he may have made 24.8 units of a toy. The 20% is still left, in which case he should be paid for just 24 units. The remaining units he can uh, make and finish tomorrow or the next day, and then he gets paid for the next remaining unit. So in this case, the logic is round down, pay for the units, which has been completed, round down. So formula, which is very similar to the previous one, round down, I choose the number and then comma zero ensures that this is rounded down. So this was the basics of round, round up and round down. But for people who have been using Excel for more than five years or 10 years, I would certainly recommend that you watch the next video, which is on a specific trick on round formula. See you there.